Oh, hi. I'm Rob Smart, computing teacher and internationally acclaimed filmmaker. When I was first hired by a school in Bedford, England, I thought it was like any other school. But I soon found that Bedford Free School was a little bit different. When I was little, I used to think that teachers lived at school. Well, it turns out I wasn't wrong. But the reason why teachers spend all night here is because they are creatures of the night. This is BFS After Dark. So my name's Tim Blake, I've been principal for Bedford Free School for about two months uh, and a vampire for 138 years. <laughs> you know it's very difficult to find employment for the recently deceased or supernatural, so we pride ourselves on being a school that believes, given the right circumstances, all monsters can achieve extraordinary things. So the school itself is built on an ancient burial ground, so actually it's the perfect site for a community of monsters to come together with the shared goal of educating, but of course eventually eating the children of Bedford. Just got to make sure it's not holy water, obviously very important. Now of course we tend to keep the fact that we are all monsters from the kids, for obvious reasons. You know, we wouldn't want any of them to try to stake me through the heart, for example, though that has happened a few times. It's a common misconception that creatures of the night can't be seen during the day. We can, but only through the use of excessive amounts of tea or coffee, otherwise we would burst into flames. A day at Bedford Free School is just like any other, really. Sacrifices, rituals, hauntings, uh, lesson planning, marking, data entry. Nothing strange, really. Bonham, communite, communitatis. Bonham, communite, communitatis. Bonham, communite, communitatis. Bonham, communite, communitatis. Thank you for coming everybody. Just want to start today's meeting by talking about curriculum planning. Oh, before we start, can we just say happy birthday to Mrs. LaHaye. Oh, oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. There's cake in the staff room. <gasps> what flavour is it? Maggots. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I love maggots. Oh, oh, yes. My name is Alice Damon and I'm a witch. What do I enjoy most about my job? The sense of satisfaction I get from changing the lives of young people. Oh and when I turn them into things when they don't do what I say. Um, that bit's great, actually. I always have my wands on me. Most witches like having fancy wooden wands, but I find the more modern plastic ones work just as good. Plus, really useful for taking transition credits. A lot of the students come to me with their issues as they seem to think that I can just magic their troubles away, which, to be fair, I can, but where's the satisfaction in that? Hi, I'm Michael Cox, I'm the head of PE and a werewolf. All the PE department are werewolves actually. We pride ourselves on having the only full lycanthrope department in the UK. I think there's an all zombie department in Mansfield. Uh, werewolves tend to make good PE teachers, we're naturally athletic, we always wear shorts and t-shirts, so when we transform we don't have to worry about our clothes ripping. It does have its drawbacks though, the fleas, they can be an issue. And shaving, oh, that takes its time as well. It can be a bit of a challenge working with a vengeful Shakespearean ghost. Don't say that name! My full name is Sir Gareth of Skenland, 3rd Earl of Abiquon. I died in the year 1607 when I was brutally murdered by that scoundrel, William Shakespeare. Why did he murder you? Why? I'll tell you why, young man. Because he couldn't stand that I was the real playwriting talent, that I was the real star of the show. <laughs> Hamlet, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, all my. Not Henry V, that was his. But he took it all from me and stabbed me in the back, literally. And now I must spend all eternity teaching my masterpieces to children who think he wrote them for 400 years. 
I'm sorry. I just... Ugh. Shakespeare! My first crash landed here back in 1947. Big news at the time, I think. I managed to fix up my spaceship a little, get it flying again. But it can't break orbit, unfortunately, so I guess I'm stuck on Earth. My spaceship is actually here. It's, it's on the roof. That's why the students aren't allowed up those extra set of stairs on the fourth floor. I've had a number of jobs since I landed, just doing my best to blend in like a normal human. It did take me a while to get used to human customs, but I think I've got used to it now. What are you eating? Wires. Well, I seem to have had a bit of bad luck with my death. Unfortunately, now that I'm a ghost, there seems to be some odd thing where only children can actually see or hear me. As soon as they all go home, I just become invisible to everyone else. Hey, I was thinking we could open the school until five o'clock. We could have the school open until five o'clock. Yeah! yeah. Nice. Love that, Miss Jones. Brilliant. Hey, did anyone watch Love Island last night? So this is our medical room. Well, we call it a medical room. It's actually a morgue. A morgue? Yeah, we've got quite a high mortality rate for a school. As soon as someone's sent to the medical room, well, they're never seen again. So this is my room. I spend all of my time in here. The students spend their time in here when they haven't met expectations or if there's a problem. But they are definitely not sent into a horrifying nightmare dimension. I mentioned the nightmare dimension. Oh, uh, well, they're not, so that's really good because they're really, really not. Well, I first became a zombie when I was studying to become a maths teacher. It was part of the course. Actually, they don't let you be a maths teacher unless you are dead on the inside and the out. Zombies have a bit of a bad reputation, you know, for wanting brains in that. But that's just a misunderstanding. We just want to make people more intelligent through education. So that their brains are much tastier when we do eat them. So first of all, I just wanted to say well done to everyone for a really smooth parents evening last night. We only had two people fall into the pit of despair, which I think is a new low. And only one werewolf attack. So well done to PE for restraining yourselves. <laughs> now, I'd like to welcome our new member of staff starting today. His name is Pazuzu, or Mr. Pazuzu to the kids. <laughs> and I'm sure he'll settle in really quickly. Hello, it is a pleasure to be here. Now, if I could remind everyone to please keep the human sacrifices to a minimum this week, as we do have visitors coming to look around the school on Wednesday. Now, obviously, education is the most important thing here at Bedford Free School. We want to be a leading school in knowledge-rich, supernatural teaching, and to show that humans and monsters can live in harmony, in essence. And if everyone in the world can live by the motto that we say to the kids every morning, then the world would be a much, much better place. Work hard, be nice, drink blood. Well, obviously the um, governor's made me take out that last bit. 